not a game, it's a rage thing. I got my aluminum radiator from storage. It's the eBay one, not the half sure one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in on the six feet. It's not running, but so I can't do a really comparison until we do um, Tim's uh, radiator. I might throw it in the video if we decide to do it soon enough. Uh, but I'm gonna at least put this in the car so that way I don't have to like, leave it in storage. One last thing I gotta move. So yeah, well, I already got the other one out. So I really can't show you the removal, but I can show you kind of the process, you know, still a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, toss this in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove these two top ones. All right, have them in there. And then what you normally would do is remove these hoses, which is just clamps. So we got those removed already. And then um, I'll show you how to put the fans on. But yeah, then there's some clips. You got one clip there, you got a clip here. That's for your uh, AC and radiator fan. Alright, as you can see the AC radiator fan is in. Go ahead and start securing these with some bolts. I'm gonna try to find some nicer ones actually. Alright, the bolts are in. I'm gonna get replacement ones for these ones because these are nicer and these are fucking ugly. But right, now we're gonna go ahead and kind of maneuver this back into the car. And then we're gonna try to get the bottom radiator hose. So I'm gonna go take this off now. This little tube. And then we'll get this in the car. Alright, got this one. Alright, I got the radiator in first of all, but I didn't put the hose on in the bottom. It was just too hard to maneuver it in. So, we're gonna go ahead and just tighten up these ones up here real quick. Put these bolts on to hold this bracket in. And this is gonna be pretty sturdy. Let's go ahead and do that. is not moving anywhere now these are all tight right here already um we'll go ahead and clip this uh i clipped the bottom one already the let me show you guys clip the bottom connector which is right there i got that one in already i'm gonna go ahead and find this one somewhere and um it's right there actually we'll go ahead and clip this one back in so that's good. Um, now we just gotta get our radiator hoses. So this won't be easy to top one. And then uh, once we get the top one in, we'll be able to get the, no, actually we'll get the bottom one in first somehow. Yeah. I was able to use these pliers and get it from down there. Okay, so I have plenty of room. We'll go ahead and do the top one now. This one should be super easy. So this goes right here and now uh, we'll go to slide this back on I don't think it's I don't know how to get this lock one off I gotta see how to take this off all right just put a fly head and it just popped right into place next we got to do is um, I think we gotta get our bracket ready I don't even know if this even has a bracket we'll just slide in right here this goes right in here and usually there's a bracket that holds this. I don't think I have it. Which is fine, it's not gonna move anywhere. Anyway, but um, usually there's a black bracket right here. And that kind of keeps this shield. But yeah, we'll go ahead and remove this one now. And then we'll put this on here. All right, just like that, we've got the radiator in. It's in there. No issues, the eBay one mounted up perfectly fine. Plenty of room, just like OEM fitment, just like what Hafter claimed theirs were the same. But yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and maybe show you guys Tim when I do his install. But it looks like it'll be easy. I don't see what the auto is different from the from the base or the six speed, just because it seems like I did this on an auto before. It don't look like there's anything different. But we'll find out soon. What are you on right now? 
Jeez. Oh. Some springs. Thank you. Nothing, nothing crazy. Have you heard from Four Gen today? Huh? Have you heard from Four Gen today? Yes. No, not yet. No. Yeah, I haven't. Some H and R springs. Nothing crazy. You gonna leave it at his height? How is he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just throw them on there. You ready for this? Heck yeah. Let's see the UA squad. <laughs> Let's see. Sponsored. Red Thick Customs. We got garage door scales, endless RPMs, hill, tow, box on tire, Mac tools, and Fresno Acura. Nice. Yep. Man, that's gonna suck. You're gonna look like a regular ass traffic after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not low. Damn, is this the last of the fortune content? I think so. Until, <laughs> until we do the bag install? You go right there. Alright, we're gonna be taking off his coilovers and we're gonna put it on Devin's car. The higher end one, right? Yeah, it has the electrical bell. Oh, the other ones don't? No, we just had the little dinghy bell. Oh, yeah. But it's the one you could control on your phone, right? You you hook up your phone to it? You can? Yeah, you I can know your no speed. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's gonna go back to stock height. Halfway there. Halfway there. So I do the rear. You're gonna take the back seats out. Um, let's let's hold Forge accountable. He said he got he's gonna have something big coming up. So if you don't see him on the channel no more, he lied to us. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Dude. Maxi stock height. Next is Devin's turn. He <laughs> just oh, no. scraped his ribs right now. <laughs> Oh. Next we're gonna put coil over, take the springs off and put coil over his own. This fortune. in. Kenny with his bag whip over there. He just got done bagging the fortune. Not bagging. Just putting coilovers on the fortune. Kenny whip. Oof. So clean. All right, we have all the gin coming. My battery, my memory card might get full. We got baller tin over here. We'll put that aluminum radiator in. It's been a minute since you've seen baller tin. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Final. Hello guys. 
So today we are installing an aluminum radiator with Mythic Customs behind you. What brand? I can't even say the brand. I, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say it wrong and look so stupid on the, the video. Just say rebranded eBay. Rebranded eBay. This is what we're doing, guys. <laughs> Alright. Damn. Dirty trunk, dirty trunk. Alright, we got the radiator right here. He's smoking a doobie. The veggie stuff. And uh, we're going to put it in. This is plug and play like my six speed. So I don't go too far into depth. But um, uh, let's actually check your um, temperature right now. Ah! Oh, that's ugly. Alright, let's see what your temperature is at because you just barely got here. It, no, it's pretty hot. Yeah, let's see it. No, right here. Let's see it on the dash. See if it changes when we put it in. What do you mean? I want to record the, the temp. Oh, oh. So you don't have to start it. You just turn it on. There it is. We'll see if it goes lower. You'll let me know too if you notice a difference. To do it the right way, I'm taking the clips off, take off the cover, and just cut the oil pan, and have the radiator draining. Uh, cars on jack stands, but um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let it drain out, then we'll take off the bottom radiator hose. The top one's already off, and then we'll be able to remove everything with the fans, and we'll see if auto and manual radiators are different. All right, so we got the auto one. So as of right now, it looks like it fits exactly like a six-speed. There is no difference. So auto and six-speed radiators work exactly the same. At least for the 04 to 06 model. I don't know if the 07 or 08 is different. But uh, all right, so we got everything all in. It is a little tight, just like the eBay one. So which I figure it is probably still rebound to eBay. Nevertheless, so this is kind of loose. So we're gonna put some quick zip ties on it. It's missing like a screw or something. Like this one's even loose. But yeah. All right guys, so you can see the thickness. It's probably at least like a little over, uh, either double or a little bit less than double the thickness. So at least that's a good benefit. This is the half to shaft one, not the eBay one, but it's the same thing. But yep. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in it, but auto and stick shift uh, radiators for the 04 to 06 is exactly identical, no difference. They said there was like a trans cooler in here, but there ain't any. So yeah, this is plug and play 0708. I'm pretty sure it's the same, but we don't know yet. I haven't tested it yet. All right, let's get this in. So we have a coolant in, but we got the aluminum radiator in. Fits good. This is like normal play, but yeah, clean it up. Looks very nice. Put the covers on we're gonna probably put some cooling in here and we'll see if we could try to do um any sort of um cooling difference and we'll look at the temp for sure he'll know because i'm pretty sure you already know where your line is we, yeah, like so um well and i'm pretty sure i could tell if it's like really cooler but yeah we're gonna fill it up and then um we'll go for a test drive right after all right we're just bleeding it right now i think it might be pretty much good we still have it in the air just because they could keep it real high but um yeah, nothing really else came out. The thermostat, we didn't take it off, so the, it didn't really suck up too much coolant. But yeah, we're almost done, and we'll go for a test drive. We just put everything back together. Looks cool though, yeah, you can see it in the aluminum. Right for a test drive, before we end the video, we got Tim over here. About the same so far, right? I can. It, mm, I, I like it. Maybe it's a little inch down, a little maybe. inch down, but but yeah. I mean, let's see if it actually works. Prefer no, it's not a whole inch because that's a lot. But yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll drive it and we'll take a look at it. Yeah. I wish we took a photo. Oh well. It's okay. <laughs>